telekinesis, exactly how to move matter with your mind. Hi, I am your host, Guy Cheyenne, and welcome back once again to Rebuild Reality, where as always, we talk about who we really are, why we're here, and how all of this stuff works. Now, why are we into manifestation? Why are we into law of attraction, law of assumption, um, ancient and modern spiritual texts? Why do we watch, you know, and listen to all the uh, spiritual teachers, you know, from modern times or ancient times? Well, for one reason, because we want to master our reality. We don't want to be mastered by our reality. We want to be victors, not victims. We want to be free. But it's a bit difficult, isn't it? Because this is all a game of belief. So there's so much stuff where it's like, well, he said or she said, you know, it's like it can be vague. It's like it's some people's experience, but not everybody's experience. And it and it's hard because so many of us have been, you know, we've been burned, you know, before believing in things that, you know, weren't weren't true, weren't real. You know, we weren't real and true for us in our experience. So we have this kind of knee-jerk reaction where we'll believe in things. We'll, we'll put all this stuff, I believe, I believe, I believe, and then we kind of lose it, right? But if we can marry our physical 3D reality of science, of matter, of particles, and put that together with the spiritual understandings that we have and see exactly what is physically happening when we are imagining the end that we want to live in, when we are imagining the reality we want to be in, living in the end, if we could actually understand what's really physically happening when we do that, that can change absolutely everything. Because then it's like, yeah, sorry, mind, that is a physical reality. And this is what we are talking about today, because like I said, this thing can really change all of people's difficulties when trying to believe that manifestation really is real. So we're going to begin with atoms, because atoms are where it's all taking place. Now, atoms are, of course, 90, more than 99% empty space. And they've got this little tiny nucleus that is made of protons and usually neurons, uh, sorry, neutrons, that are surrounded by this electrically charged fields of, field of something called an electron. Now, electrons are very, very interesting because they exist in multiple places at the same time. In fact, the, there are these electrons, they fill your room. They're in your cell phone, they're in your computer, they're in your food, they're in your head. And the interesting thing also is that it's the same one. The same one appearing across all time, all space, and all realities everywhere. The ones that are in your head are also on the other side of the universe, are 50 billion light years away, the exact same one. Not different ones, not different electrons, the same one that looks like it's everywhere, but it's nowhere. In fact, quantum physics calls this slightly everywhere and precisely nowhere. And this has been proven over and over again for the last hundred years that this is actually happening. Now, what happens when we think? Well, when we think, we produce an electrical charge. And the thing is, is that electrical charge, when we think, interacts, pushes and pulls on electrons. And when that happens, when you push and pull on an electron, you take this one thing that is appearing everywhere as everything throughout all time and space and you collapse it into one thing into one reality one picture one potential out of all possible potentials and this is exactly what we're doing when we're thinking so, which of course we do 24 seven, but when we are imagining and we're imagining we're living in the end, we're imagining our wish fulfilled. We are literally collapsing 
the reality we want, we're pulling it together to collapse it into one thing. And the longer, of course, that we do that, there it is, right? And the more you believe in it, the more it is revealed to you. So this is physically happening when we are doing these manifestation techniques, living in the end and all of that stuff, we're really actually affecting matter, affecting the life force of matter. Now, this thing that is all things, knows all things, is in all places, appearing everywhere at once. It is in, through, and around everything, and it is everything. What does that sound like? Well, of course, it sounds like all the descriptions we've heard of God, the creator of source energy. That's exactly what it sounds like. It is exactly the same description. So, of course, I'm, I had to ask the question. I'm like, well, you know, as I'm looking at this stuff, I'm like, well, does that mean that electrons are literally God, are literally what we know of as source energy? Well, of course, I looked it up and I found that... I'm not the first person who's asked that question. In fact, probably the earliest one, at least written, um, that asked that question was John Archibald Wheeler, who is famous for saying, there's no out there, out there. This physicist in the early 1940s asked the same question because he realized that all electrons have the same, the same mass and the same charge. He's like, hold on a minute are all these electrons that appear to be different things, all possibilities, all in infinite possibilities appearing everywhere at once throughout all space and time, are they literally really one thing? One thing that, of course, would be our creator. So to me, this is the God energy. This is source energy. This is creator energy in physical form. And we are interacting with it as it because it's it makes up everything that we are as well. So when we kind of get it that yes, when we are manifesting, when we are thinking 24-7, we are literally taking what we think of as our reality and making it a physical experience for us. But it also shows that because all possibilities, all potentials, any infinite version of anyone and anything, including this world, is all there for the taking. It's really a matter of where do you want to live? What reality do you want? Because we are constantly shifting realities anyway. Anyway, we're we're constantly affecting matter at every moment in in nanoseconds, in less than nanoseconds, in less than the, you know, in more than the speed of light, we're creating our reality that fast. So this is why we do want to put out the signal of what we want because it is literally physically happening <laughs> in physical matter. And I've had, I've known people who, like I said before, are, have, can see this happening, can see like particles coming together to form the reality they've been wishing for, they've been thinking for, they've been imagining themselves living in. So this is how each one of us is actually doing telekinesis in every moment of every day, moving matter without even realizing it. And that is pretty freaking powerful. So I am your host, Sky Cheyenne. And thank you for being with me here once again. Um, I have put uh, email for rebuildreality at gmail.com down in the description. If anyone has any questions or comments or things they want to communicate with me, that's there. But because I want you guys, if you want to, because some people want to get a hold of me, um, have a way to do that. Uh, other than that, thank you for subscribing, for liking, and for being here with me at Rebuild Reality once again. <laughs>